Hello, welcome back to Jack's Eversex Videos. Sorry that this uh, video is late. Um, uh, once again, it's because of the an anniversary thing. This is the last video that is going to be late, basically, because I've filmed ahead uh, at least five episodes for all three series, so they are all going to be released on time. So this, this is the last sort of um, trail behind of all three series. So today I'm going to be showing you uh, landing blind in the fog. So basically not using any autopilot or inst instruments at all for any of the landings that I'm going to be doing. So what you're seeing now is the new Hong Kong airport, uh, which is and with just default fog. So um, it's just what Microsoft Flight Simulator have decided to put as the range and everything for the fog. Uh, now this is uh, an airport in Moscow. Um, with slightly more fog. Um, obviously when you're coming in over you can see the runway when you're over the layer of fog. Once you go under uh, the layer it's you can't really see the runway or runway lighting as easily. So right now I can see the runway, I know how to line up, I can see how to line up with it and everything but then once I go under it's going to become more more tricky. But this is a pretty pretty low fog um, it's worse than the default fog when you select it in the weather. Um, this is in the banks weather, so you see that it's a lot more harder to see than the last airport in Hong Kong. Um, so you can't see it as easy, but now once you get closer, obviously it becomes clearer because uh, the fog range isn't that high. Okay, now again, I'm at the next airport, uh, so same airport, but uh, next ver version up for fog. So this is a lot thicker, the fog. I don't know the exact ranges of the uh, fog because I recorded it about two weeks ago before I've edited it. Um, but you can see right now, it's the same distance that I went under uh, into the under the layer of fog. And it's you can't see it at all, really, until you get to about this distance where you start to see the runway. So before you could only just see the runway lights basically, but now obviously it's a lot clearer. And uh, obviously you can't see the end of the runway either. Okay, so for the final example, um, this is the maximum uh, or oh, actually minimum distance of fog that you can get um, so I think it's something like 1.6 miles or something I'm um, not entirely sure uh, in advanced weather settings so I've also hired the layer of fog so you start inside it and I'm once again not using any autopilot the only thing I am using is the um, primary flight display and GPS just to see if I'm lined up the wrong way I also have no idea of the elevation of this airport, so it could be uh, zero feet or it could be 800. So I'm not entirely sure of that, but I didn't know whether I was going to crash into the ground, which you can just see now. I didn't realise how high up the airport was, and I did almost crash into the ground, but I did lift up. So um, you still can't see the runway. I'm really close to it. You see the GPS just come up there, and I'm really close to the runway. I'm almost on top of it, and I still can't see anything. You can just see the trees there, I actually go through some and lift up again. So now that I know I'm above the runway because all the trees are gone and what I just saw on the GPS, I just went down towards the ground, I hit it, that would have been a crash really. And um, obviously I'm not on the runway, I'm on a taxiway and grass and I just keep going along until I stop. So you can see how bad the fog is, and uh, this is extremely rare in real life to get fog actually this bad. But um, it is extremely hard to land, which is what autopilot and navigation and instruments are for. So you can just see there how far away I was from the runway, which I'm now moving up, taxiing along the taxiway on the right-hand side. And it's pretty far away, and even you, you can't even see the runway when you look. And um, 
you can't even see the airport behind you, the airport building. So what you're seeing now is just where I land, go around about there. Uh, right near the airport actually. And when you're taxiing you can, can't really see ahead, so if there's an aircraft ahead of you, you're going to have um, a pretty tough time just stopping time because uh, you're most likely going to crash into the uh, back of it. Obviously if they get a mix up with ATC or something and an aircraft is coming towards you on the same taxiway, uh, you're pretty much going to crash into it. It's almost a guarantee because uh, you barely have enough time to stop it if the aircraft is stationary, let alone if it's coming towards you as well. So right there you can just barely see that there was a turn ahead. Um, you can barely see that because obviously fog is extremely low. And uh, this is just outside the aircraft again, uh, just to show you what it's like. And you can barely see the run, uh, the end of the taxiway behind you, or the edge of the runway, uh, the right side of the runway in front of you. And that's just the view from the tower on its uh, minimum zoom, so you can barely see the piers. And uh, that's just on its almost maximum zoom, which you can only just make out the aircraft lights. You can't actually make out the actual fuselage or wings or anything, the actual aircraft itself. So thanks for watching episode 31 of the ongoing series. Next week for episode 32 it's uh, Fly Tampa's St. Martin Scene Review. So it's not next week, um, it's today uh, because this video is obviously a week late. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and please take a look at my website.